In this video, I don't want to bore you with uh, the benefits you can get out of uh, uh, barefoot running or barefoot uh, walking, because I'm sure you already know. But you know, guys, if you watched my last video in the last weeks, I compared in terms of uh, running economy and running stress uh, different uh, models, um, and uh, I realized I don't have any benchmark. So, which is the best benchmark, uh, at least as I see it, uh, barefoot running. Therefore, I put on the five fingers, that is, uh, these shoes, with, uh, uh, which is kind of weird, uh, which actually has uh, zero drop, uh, zero midsole, uh, zero of everything, uh, just to avoid to burn my feet uh, in the treadmill. And then I started, as usual, to run uh, different tests uh, to collect all the metrics. So we will start checking the different results uh, for each test, and then uh, at the end we will come uh, to a conclusion. I mean, nothing mind-blowing, uh, but the result uh, is worth to keep in mind. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Welcome back in my channel, guys. Uh, in, in this video, we're gonna uh, test the uh, barefoot running with the five fingers, and um, we're gonna uh, go through the different uh, results uh, for each test uh, uh, looking at the, the running economy, the running stress, so the response, so the vertical oscillation and then I will check uh, also the running technique using the uh, fit path uh, thanks to the stride duo uh, 3D visualization uh, and uh, also the footage uh, collected during running. As usual I run the uh, seven different tests as, uh, in the table here and uh, yeah say that let's start. In the slower test, as you can see from the tick marks, uh, which indicate the best values, uh, uh, running barefoot has the uh, best values, uh, except for the uh, vertical oscillation. I mean, it is not a surprise for me uh, that the, the uh, leg spring uh, stiffness, so the efficiency or the energy return, it is the best running barefoot. Uh, I always said that we are made for running. We run to hunt, basically, so if we are here, it's because we, are, we were able to run. <laughs> But actually, what surprised me more uh, is the lower body running stress, uh, which is the lowest. Maybe because uh, uh, when we run uh, uh, barefoot, uh, we pay more attention to each and every stride. But let's wait the other result uh, uh, for the other test when, where we increase the pace. As we can see, also the response is the best uh, value because we don't have that much uh, um, material uh, or uh, form uh, underneath our feet uh, which absorbs and um, also slow down the uh, reaction time uh, so this is the reason why I prefer uh, to run in uh, shoes that are lower to the ground. Even checking the running technique uh, we can see that uh, everything is under control uh, and uh, pretty symmetric uh, so cool let's go ahead. In this test, same situation as before, except uh, that uh, the stress is slightly higher than in the Boston 12, uh, which is anyhow crazy, guys. And what about the running technique? Well, um, looking at it, pretty symmetric and under control. Let's go ahead, uh, we will see for sure a change uh, increasing the speed. Well, actually no changes, guys. This is exactly the same result as the first test, so can you imagine? And uh, checking the feet part as well, and uh, the footage uh, looks everything under uh, control, uh, quite a symmetric technique, uh, so let's move on. We all expect that the increase in the speed something changes, but guys, everything looks more or less the same uh, as the previous test. Uh, barefoot is second only to Boston 12 in terms of running stress uh, and looking at the feet path, uh, again, we can see that everything is uh, under control, so this cannot be the case in the next test. Uh, let's check it. But before to check it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Only 7% of you who is watching my video is subscribed, so you know how much I appreciate your support for the work done for this video. Thank you so much. So increasing the pace, once again, same situation as the uh, slowest uh, test, uh, which is crazy, but we can see from the footage um, that the fit path in this case it has a bit of asymmetry. As always, I push more with the right foot, uh, and uh, here is visible as well, but nothing uh, which is that much different than uh, 
uh, all the other issues here and uh, for sure better than the result uh, with the Takumi. So let's uh, proceed now with the last two uh, tests. Uh, as you can see quickly, um, the results are basically the same uh, as in the previous test. Uh, so as I said at the beginning, I'm not surprised uh, for the efficiency, but more for the running stress. Of course, the values uh, increase uh, when we run faster because we push more uh, on our feet, uh, but this is normal. What we can notice instead is that uh, the running shoes don't change that much the lower body stress uh, as we believe it guys. Say that I don't want to say that uh, tomorrow we should all go uh, running uh, barefoot uh, because you need to train the strength of your feet uh, and get use of the uh, drop zero. Maybe start walking and then running uh, not too fast. Uh, otherwise, your calf will be on fire. But what I want to remark is that uh, I don't see uh, all uh, these benefits uh, to run in the models we uh, I mentioned in this test today uh, in comparison to barefoot. Maybe. This will be a different result uh, uh, using some super running shoes like the Adios Pro or uh, the Vaporfly, for instance. Uh, but in conclusion, I would say for this test today, uh, we can break down the results into uh, main uh, outcomes. Outcome number one, running barefoot is by far more efficient. Of course, you need to train it. Uh, this is important to remark. And outcome two is that uh, it is not true that the running shoes uh, are far more protective uh, in terms of running stress uh, than uh, running life. So we could train more our feet uh, and uh, spend less money in running shoes. Even if I have to say my five fingers uh, cost another 20 euro. But anyhow, uh, say that nothing mind-blowing as, uh, as I said at the beginning. Uh, somehow I expected these results, uh, but now we have uh, a benchmark for our uh, test uh, which can help to read uh, better uh, the data collected. So I hope guys this video was interesting and uh, entertaining uh, and uh, if you have questions as usual uh, raise your question down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video with your friends and as always thanks for watching until the next time keep running. Ciao.